Good morning, students. Today, I am Shuman. I will teach you physics of late class nine of lesson motion. As you know that motion means when the object covers the distance with respect to time, or when the object changes their position with respect to time. Object can be living things or non-living things. So motion has a different kind of motions, like uh, linear motion, uh, linear motion, rotatory motion, circular motion, vibratory motion, and oscillatory motion, periodic motion. So many types of motion. We will explain the terms first. Linear motion. What is linear motion? Linear motion means when the object travel in a straight path, like the vehicles travel on the road. That is linear motion. Oscillatory motion. Oscillatory motion means when the object oscillates from a rigid point. Like the motion of the pendulum is oscillatory motion because it oscillates between two points. Two, it has two extreme points, and the object move in this extreme point. Vibratory motion. Vibratory motion means rapid to and fro motion of the object, like the wire of guitar. Sitar, while in this kinds of the motion of the object is a vibratory motion. Rotatory motion. Rotatory motion means the object is in motion. It's a fixed point, like motion of the fan, motion of the top, motion of the earth on its axis. So these kinds of the object which rotates about its fixed point. Circulatory motion. Circulatory motion means the object, the motion of the object on a circular path. For example, the middle of the clock. It is that is circulatory motion because it has a Path and the object moves on its path. Translatory motion. Translatory motion means in this motion there are different kinds of motion includes. For example, when we pull a bucket from our wheel, so this motion is a translatory motion. So there are so kinds of motion, and the motion is in living things and non-living things. Both has motion. Living things means a human being, animal, birds. These are the living object, and these living object changes their position with respect to time. So these kinds of motion of this object is known as the motion of living and non-living object like vehicles, car, fan, buses, stop. These are the non-living objects, and the motion of this object is motion of this object is non-living motion. Rest. And motion. These two terms. What is rest? Rest means when the object doesn't change their position with respect to time. Suppose that an object is here, and after one hour, the object will remain in the same position. It doesn't change their position with respect to time. Then we can say the object is. In rest, 
in motion. Now, when these object changes their position with respect to time, after one hour, the object travels five kilometer and reaches from point A to B. Then, the motion of this object is the uh, now the object is in motion because the object cover a distance with respect to time. This is motion and when the object doesn't change their position with respect to time, the object is at rest. A scalar and a vector point. These are the physical quantities, these are two physical quantities. A scalar and a vector. What is a scalar quantity and what is a vector quantity? A scalar quantity means those kinds of the physical quantity which has only magnitude. Like suppose that if we say 5 meter. 5 meter means it is a scalar quantity because the object has not a direction. In vector quantity object must magnitude and as well as its direction. A scalar quantity has only magnitude, vector quantity has magnitude as well as direction. 5 meter you will write north. So it is, it has direction north. So 5 meter north you can understand that the, we have to move 5 meter north or 5 meter south or 5 meter east, west and direction. So if the object is, object has a magnitude as well as direction, then we can say this is a vector quantity. There are many examples of a scalar quantity like mass, Mass is a scalar quantity, time is a scalar quantity, distance is a scalar quantity. So these are some examples of uh, the physical quantity which is a scalar quantity. Now the examples of vector quantity like displacement. Displacement means the distance between two shortest points. The distance between two points is shortest. This is a displacement. So displacement is a vector quantity. Force is also a vector quantity. A velocity is a vector quantity. Acceleration is a vector quantity. So these are the physical quantity which is a vector quantity. Now, we will study the uniform and non-uniform motion. What is uniform motion? Uniform motion means if the object cover equal distance in equal interval of time, the motion of the object is known as uniform motion. Suppose that an object is starting from point A and reaches from point B and it's cover equal distance so 5 meter in each second. It means the object when start from any certain point and cover equal distance in unit interval of time. The object is known as a uniform motion. An object cover a distance from point A 5 meter in one second. Next second, the object again covers 5 meter distance. Next second, the object again covers a 5 meter distance. So in this case, we see that the object cover equal distance, which is 5 meter, in equal interval time, which is 1 second. So we can say the object is in uniform motion. Non-uniform motion. In this case, the object doesn't cover equal distance in 
equal interval of time in this case the interval of time is same but the distance covered by the object is unequal for example an object start from a certain point after 1 second it's cover 5 meter next second the objects cover 10 meter next second the objects cover 7 meter so in this case we see that the object cover a distance with respect to time but the distance is not a same not a equal then we can say the object is in uniform motion speed speed is a physical quantity as i told speed is also a scalar quantity why first we will study about speed what is speed speed means when the object cover a distance in unit interval of time whatever the distance covered by the object in unit interval of time there is it is known as speed suppose that the object cover 5 meter in 1 second next 5 meter in 1 second so we can say the speed of the object is 5 meter per second it is vector quantity and the SI unit of speed is meter per second meter per second is the SI unit of the speed but speed is a vector quantity it has only magnitude but it has not a direction suppose that we will say 10 meter per second 10 meter per second it has no direction it means this kind of the motion of the object is speed so it is a vector not a scalar quantity velocity velocity is also a kind of speed but it has a direction and velocity is a vector quantity velocity means distance traveled by the object in unit interval of time in given direction given direction means suppose that if you want to say 10 meter per second this is a speed if you will say 10 meter per second not then it's become velocity because we have magnitude as well as direction so 10 meter per second north direction so it is a velocity so velocity is a vector quantity and it has magnitude as well as direction both now the acceleration what is acceleration acceleration means the rate of change of velocity of any object suppose that an object is moving 5 meter per second after one second the velocity of the object becomes 7 meter per second then next second again so 5 to 7 how much distance increase how much velocity increase by this object in one second so 2 meter per second the velocity increases in this case 2 meter per second so that is a acceleration acceleration means rate of change of velocity in unit interval of time means how much velocity increase by the object in one second that is acceleration now once again we will come on the topic speed as i told speed is speed means the distance to a unit uh, interval of time the object uh, and the, if the object cover 
5 meter, 10 meter, 20 meter, 50 meter, whatever the distance in one second, that is known as the speed. There are so many kinds of speed, so many types of speed. Uniform speed, non-uniform speed, instantaneous speed, and average speed. First, we will see the uniform speed. Uniform speed like a uniform motion means the object travels or covers equal distance in equal interval of time. That is uniform speed. Each and every second I will measure the speed of the object and the speed of the object each and every second is remain same then we can say the speed of the object is uniform non-uniform speed non-uniform speed means if the speed of the object is not uniform means the distance traveled by the object in unit interval time is not the same it is different. Suppose that object travel 5 meter in 1 second, next 10 meter in 1 second, next 7 meter in 1 second. So in this case, we see that the distance covered by the object is different, which is not equal. Then the speed of the object is known as non-uniform. Third one is instantaneous speed instantaneous speed means the speed of the object at instant time instant time means suppose that an object or bus or vehicles is moving on the road and if you want to the uh, what is the speed of this object at particular instant time means 9 o'clock exact 9 o'clock what is the speed of the object exact 9 o'clock? So whatever the speed of the object when it's moving on the road and the speed of the object at the instant time, this speed is known as instantaneous speed. Now the average speed. Average speed means the whatever the distance travel by the object and whatever time taken the ratio of the total distance to total interval of time is known as average speed similarly velocity uniform velocity non-uniform velocity instantaneous velocity and average velocity but you know the difference speed and velocity the speed is a vector scalar quantity where the velocity is a vector quantity but there is difference in a speed it has no fixed direction and velocity has a fixed direction similarly in acceleration acceleration is also a four times times of acceleration uniform acceleration non-uniform acceleration, average accelerations and instantaneous acceleration. Uniform when the object increases the uh, increases the velocity at the same rate, it is a uniform acceleration. When the object increases the velocity is different rate, it is non-uniform acceleration and Third one is instantaneous acceleration. The acceleration of the object at instant or particular time is known as instantaneous acceleration. So thank you. Today.